You know, if it weren't for this one person and the network that she created, there's about a 0% chance that I'd be self-employed and happy right now. So the person that I want to tell you about um, is one of the most genuine and caring people that I've ever met, and she's the one who inspired me to create my business in the first place. That would be my professor, Bethany Swain. The reason that I'm at the University of Maryland right now, back on campus, is because she's invited um, me, in addition to a number of other alumni from her former class, uh, to a visual storytelling workshop to talk about our experiences and our professions to the current students. But let me tell you and give you a little bit of background on who she is. Basically, Bethany Swain was a wildly successful photojournalist at CNN before she decided to leave that career and pursue teaching. She started as a professor at the University of Maryland teaching video journalism for journalism students at the university's Philip Merrill College of Journalism. What's so special about what Bethany did is she created this advanced storytelling course called Viewfinder. See, what Viewfinder is, is it's an advanced storytelling course for broadcast students to create natural sound packages, to create documentary style work that pushes the fold more so than traditional video journalism classes would teach. And, and what's so special about this course is not just the lessons that we taught and the skills that we learned, which were incredible. What's so special about this, this class is the network that it created. See, every single semester, there are a select group of about 10 students that are chosen to be a part of this incredible, incredible group. And I was fortunate to be a part of that group back in fall of 2015. And it's really what launched my career. And it's what launched a number of my colleagues' careers. So that's why I'm here today. It's a number of Viewfinder alum and incoming Viewfinder students that are here for visual storytelling workshops so the alumni can work with the new students and kind of show them the ropes. So right now I'm actually out on a shoot. Um, so I'm a coach for one of the incoming Viewfinder students. And so I'm here, uh, Connor, who I'm helping. And then I also have Suze and Jack is one of the other coaches who's coming in as well. So really cool thing about this project is that basically what Bethany has done is she's brought all the alumni in and we're all giving hands-on help, hands-on assistance while they're shooting. So that way when they have any questions, they can learn from us and they can figure out, you know, how do they build a great story? So this is actually reading day, so all the students are in, the, are in the middle of finals week, and what they're doing is they're meeting um, all the students that are in the viewfinder class for next semester for the first time, and the coaches are bringing each one out, and they have about three or so hours to shoot a piece bring it back, edit it all together, and then create a video out of it. So, you know, it's, it, it'd be nice to have a little bit of uh, hands-on mentorship. So that's why we're here. That's why we're helping out. That's why Connor's taking pictures of me in the background. So sorry. <laughs> no, it's awesome. How's the coaching going? It's going well. We've learned, I've learned actually, uh, she had an issue with her camera that I didn't know how to fix and then we fixed it together. So that's kind of neat. All right, so we're currently walking back from the shoot. How do you think it went, Connor? You know, it was definitely unexpected, for sure. I think that at first, we had no one to interview, and then you miraculously told me to interview, I forget her name. Went well, he's an excellent teacher, by the way. Excellent. So right now we're headed back, and we are uh, 
in the process of making a very quick edit. We have about an hour and a half before we need to export, so. All right, it's time to bunker down. Bethany isn't just another professor. She is someone who not only genuinely cares about each of her students and continues to bring them back so that, you know, we do have a great alumni base. I mean, that's that's one aspect of this, but, but don't get me wrong, that's not just what this is. This is a group of dedicated alumni who want to come back to, who want to give back because of everything that Bethany has provided us. She didn't just provide us with one semester of education, one semester of experience. She gave us, she's created this this incredibly well-strung web of opportunities, of uh, resources and potential experiences that each of us could have. Um, because what she's done is she continues to care for us and to reach out to us. I mean, she, she was the kind of professor who literally would go to each of the students. If you had a concert, then she would she would attend your concert. If you had a performance, she would attend your performance. If you had, you know, a game, then she went to your game. Or something, something online, you know, she would help to promote whatever it is that you're doing. And, and, and continuing with that, the way that she networks and continues to keep each of us engaged is she has this Facebook group that she continues to keep active and basically she reaches out to the alumni and helps us and then you know when we then have opportunities she then passes those on to the current students so she's continuing to be that gel for each of us or for for all of us so that way we can continue to learn and gain more experiences and and opportunities from one another and she just does it because she cares about making other people better and for and for giving others a wider network than they wouldn't than they would otherwise have you know she's kind of the the one person that each of us could could turn to. I mean, the class that we took with her, where it was many many late nights where we were, you know, up well past midnight editing, or um, and then we had screenings where she just she brought each of us along. She creates this community that is just unlike any other base, or, or I mean, I guess you can call them an alumni base, but we don't even really see it that way. She calls it, you know, her family, and and that's really what this is because you know it's such a collaborative environment. Um, you know, we didn't have grades. It was just about making each other and helping to encourage each other and to get better. And so that's what she's done. She's continued to, you know, keep tabs with everyone and connect everyone. So that way, you know, even people that were in the class at different times, we all know each other and, you know, we're, we're just genuinely friends and we get along and we help one another professionally because of what she's done. I mean, and, and it's hard to even remember who was in your semester and who was not just because it's such a well-connected network that she just keeps up with and she provides this value. And, and that's, that's just, you know, this great network that she has given to each of us is just so unique. It's just an endless cycle of, of opportunity, of education, and, and, of, um, and of growth. Unfortunately, I'm not the only one who thinks this. Bethany Swain is the GOAT, and if you don't know, the GOAT is the greatest of all times, okay? I got to see a professional really transi transitioning in her field from a world of working in CNN where every day you're shooting and editing to a position where you're a mentor and you really kind of have to take a step back and really help people to grow. And I'm just so thankful for that because if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be who I am today. I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing today. And I wouldn't know what it is I want to do for the rest of my life if it wasn't without her challenging me. She was really more of a mentor and a, almost a parent to me. And the, the network of her students and alumni that she created has helped me find pretty much every opportunity that I've found um, post-graduation and pre-graduation and it's the reason I come back constantly. It is definitely a very niche, tight, family-oriented, strong, almost indestructible network. And I would say for me, uh, the biggest thing that it's given me is just a network of people that I can fall back on, rely on, reach out to for questions, help, assistant, and really job opportunities as well. You know, I never thought that I'd be booking a gig from people that I didn't know or helping people on a shoot, but I have, and it's all been thanks to Bethany's network, so I gotta say I'm extremely grateful for that. It's amazing that there are people like Bethany who keep people so well connected socially and, and are doing such a great service to so many of us. And we really do need more Bethany's out in this world. The network that Bethany has created for me and that she is still creating every single day for her students that her future students and her, um, hold on, let me start over. Yeah. Bethany, are you trying to convince me? 